Welcome back. We introduced you to artist and extreme face painter Lee Dillingham earlier in the show. Then we gave her a project to transform our intern into one of her creations. And now we're ready to check back in to see what she's done. Look at that. Teresa's looking awesome. All of that in less, what, like 15 minutes? Less than 15 minutes, probably. Yeah. Tell us what, what you've done here. I just gave her a little festive kind of fairy face so she could be a princess or a butterfly or a fairy or a masquerade mask or ball or, you know, any kind of little girly look. <laughs> it, look it looks it looks really awesome. Awesome. Though. Do you feel like you could just go and be a butterfly somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> There's that smile I was working hard for. Yeah, so you, this, is, this is really cool. And, of course, if you had more time, you could give her a, probably a more detailed look like oh, Gabe's here. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, but these, this is great, you know, for people that are in a hurry. They just need to get something and out the door they go. What advice would you give? Of course, the, the best advice is to let a professional who is an artist who really loves going the extra mile on the look. But if people are doing their face paint at home, what, what, what are some tips you could give them to kind of do it a little bit better than maybe they did in years past? I'm glad you asked. The biggest tip is do not use acrylic paint or craft paint that you would use on a canvas or paper. It's not made for skin. Mm -hmm. um, you can go to your arts and crafts store, all the arts and crafts stores here in town. Ask uh, somebody on staff. They will point you to the professional face makeup face paint aisle. This is formulated for the skin. And, and that's safe. very important because right. I mean, you don't want to be, put anything on your skin because exactly. it, it could really hurt you. Right. And I mean, you can put it around your mouth. It doesn't matter if it gets in your mouth. Um, so yes, please use safe professional products, definitely. And Teresa, you have a, a, an, a presentation today. I think that that will add a little something extra to the presentation. You're going to keep it? She's, <laughs> she's like, uh, I don't think I, she said it has to be a professional uh, presentation. I'm like, well, it was done by a professional, so then you can take that to it. Um, you look you look awesome. Again, remind us how we can find out more information and uh, any upcoming events that we can check out or give you a call. Um, Designbylee.com is my website, and find me on Facebook, uh, Lee Dillingham, Instagram, Twitter. And, and you um, do awesome. I mean, we don't. I don't think we have any. We had you on for the art slam, uh, but you do awesome artwork as well. So I mean, right. people can check that out too. Oh uh, yeah, I'll be doing caricatures at the Upcountry History Museum's big event next Friday night when they transform the museum into Old World Paris. So, so I will be there drawing characters to get your tickets and come out for a great night. Come out and see you. Lee, yeah. thank you so much for being here, bringing Gabe with you as well. Gabe, I'm still obsessed with, you, with your <laughs> look. I, I would definitely want to do that. If I didn't have to host a TV show, you know, I, I, would, I would totally do that. That looks really awesome. Thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you very Teresa, much. Teresa, thank you so much for being a, a trooper that you are because um, you didn't have to do that and we appreciate it. <laughs>